Good morning. Mm, 6 a.m. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's flat calm. A breath of wind. And the most amazing, amazing, amazing sunrise. Welcome to Turkey. Enjoy this episode. And so, with not a breath of wind, it's just flat palm, we're off. We're off, anchor up, like insanely clear water. It is just, it's beautiful, teal colored. You can see the anchor, like 10, 11 meters down. We have about 25 miles to do today. And I guess at that point, we'll see what, how we feel. The problem is that the, we, we kind of have three anchoring options, 25 miles, 50 miles, or 75 miles. The problem is that 75 is too far to go because essentially we are gonna be beating into it. 25 is too short and 50 is about the right length for the time that we leave now. However, the 50 mile anchorage is sketchy, is very, very sketchy. There goes the anchor alarms. So I think we're probably gonna play uh, to the side of caution and go for the 25 mile anchorage. It means we get a half day. She's busy scrolling. We do bring news. Standing rule on board Ruby Rose one, two, three, and seven. Do not disturb her for the first hour of the day, or the last hour of the day, or some of the bits in the middle. As you can see, actually, the one thing I do want to point out to you is that the, the charts that we have, these are the uh, Navionics charts. Rather than just having the 10 and the 20 meter contours, they actually have meter, you can select meter contours. And that, is very 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 useful for anchoring because there's sonar depths and it essentially means that we can see exactly what the gradient of the shelf is anyway onward and forward let's get to uh, get moving and get 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 north i'm Teresa. this is nick and this is ruby rose 2 our floating home join us as we settle into life on board our brand new catamaran documenting our adventures and never shying away from the reality of boat life Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment because we love to hear from you and a big thanks to our community of patrons. What an absolutely spectacular morning. It's so nice. That breeze is quite cool. The sun is warm. The seas are milky flat. Surrounded by all these incredibly beautiful islands. We've got Greece on this side, Turkey on this side. Wow. We are so incredibly lucky. It just feels very surreal that we are finally here. It's so beautiful sailing the Med so far. It is exactly what we hoped for. The boat is performing fantastically well. And yeah, I can feel a little breeze picking up now. I might be able to get the sails up later. But for now, just motoring along the Mediterranean, the Turkish coastline, and it is beautiful. We went on board another boat last night. There was a naughty tent, and honestly, it kind of, uh, it was far shinier than our interior, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> so I kind of think that it's actually, you know, we have some nice furniture polish, some beeswax polish, so I'm going to get polish from this one. And just get the place a little bit spick and span, eh? Well, she's quite dirty, isn't she, from her she journey? Alright, well, it's we're only like five miles away from Didham, so we'll be there before lunch, making them an afternoon of boat chores and work. Well, we're going to get that bloody asymmetric up as, as soon as we get the in. Screecher. The screecher. Sorry, that because I don't know what the wind's going to be. Yeah, we'll, we'll pop the screecher up as soon as we get in. Bottom looks a bit patchy. We just over a plastic sandbag now. Oh, hang on, the chain's stuck. Where's the boat? Should we go? I think it, look, it looks like it's um, been sucked in there. I'm wondering if we bring the chain up, whether that will reverse what's happening. Don't get your hand out. Alright, oh, that's good. Hang out some more chain, the anchor's actually in sand, I can see it. 
Well, so far at least, anchoring in Turkey has been way, way, way easier than anchoring in a anywhere in Asia because it's all sand and if there's any seaweed or seagrass or weed, you can see it very easily because the water's so incredibly crystal clear. We are anchored quite a fair way out of the bay. You can see maybe behind my shoulder that you can see the difference of the water colour so it gets shallower and sandier further into the bay where the other boats are anchored. but. A, there's a bit of activity in the bay that we want to stay away from and B, well that's it really. Screeches up. Now we just need some screecher sailing with her. <laughs> if that can be arranged. The marina. Sunset. The resort, which is a very, very, very quiet Turkey, Turkey. Beautiful Dutch yacht over there. And then the whole Turkish mainland. And then you see the islands kind of like just disappearing into the background. And that is the Greek island of Kos. The thing about our evenings is we can only give you a real facsimile of what our evenings are because normally we have so much music going and YouTube won't let us put music on otherwise we get all sorts of copyright infringements. So picture the scene. If you want to understand exactly what we're doing tonight, play Harvest Moon by Neil Young, the album. We got our screecher up today. It's been a nice day. It's been a quiet, a calm day, actually. We were tied up and anchored by about lunchtime. I've done some chores. I kind of got some drawers organized, emptied out, put our courtesy flags all in one place. Just, just pottering, general pottering, getting the boat straight, but with the screecher up and everything else up and we can move on tomorrow. We've got a big day tomorrow. And so, yeah, that's, that's where we are. So I will leave you all with this. Therese, do you want to uh, say good night to, to everybody? Good night, everybody. We'll see you in the morning bright and early. I think Nick's got an alarm set for 6 a.m. And uh, we've got a big day tomorrow, as Nick said. We're making a big jump north so yeah today was kind of a half day a bit of quiet day got caught up on some jobs and chores tomorrow's just gonna be cracking on all right say good night good night see you in the morning good morning we are off it is not even 6 a.m yet i've been awake for about five minutes nick is making me some coffee We've got a big day today, uh, which is why we're leaving as the sun is rising. That's my hair going. Yeah, we're going to try and get as far north as we possibly can. So it'll probably be a day of motoring. Uh, we might get some wind this afternoon, hopefully like a sailing breeze. And yeah, we're just going to crack on, make some progress north and hopefully find somewhere really nice to anchor tonight. Good morning again. It is. Past eight. God almighty, it feels like the day is well, actually I like it. Our lives sailing tend to be up early, bed early, right? The Mediterranean. Having done this for a while, the mornings are normally flat calm and the wind will pick up and come from one direction in the afternoons. Now we met a very nice boat a couple of nights ago that said yesterday, oh we're gonna carry on sailing into the afternoon. And we had a little bit of FOMO, I must go, I'm not going to lie to you, I had a little bit of FOMO, did you? They cracked on. But they cracked on. I had a little bit of FOMO and well, we made a decision that if we had cracked on, we would have put ourselves in a situation that we would have got to an anchorage, which was designated as sketchy yeah. at a very late hour and we wouldn't have had a secondary port. And they messaged us this morning to say exactly that, that they, uh, got their sketchy anchorage, had to crack on, and um, yeah. I'm sorry that they did have to crack on, but nonetheless, I think taking the cautious option in a country that we don't know that well, but we also know the weather picks up. Anyway, it's kind of odd because if you look at the geography of this area, and we'll overlay a chart here, like the Greek islands are literally, in some cases, 
like 300 meters off the Turkish coast. But navigationally, I'm not quite sure what we're meant to do. We uh, we can see the, the borders and where the international waters are, but it is almost impossible to not enter Greek waters if you're trying to sail between two ports in Turkey. Yeah, if you're trying to go like between A and B and there's a Greek island in the middle, then like what's reasonable? You smell quite nice. Well, I shave. Yes, I do smell quite nice. She said in a very surprised tone. And it's like, like rancid kebab meat and engine oil. Life is a winding road. Telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know Pop a biking burial though Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head. Wow, look at that! Amazing, that is stunning. We've literally just come around the corner to see that. Unbelievable. Behind me is Greece, and this is Turkey. I mean. That's just crazy. There's, I mean, you could swim that. I could swim that on a calm day when I was <laughs> feeling particularly fit and healthy. This is Samos, and this is just the Turkish mainland. And I'm quite astounded at just the proximity between them. I mean, no wonder these two countries have had land disputes for millennia. I mean, this is Europe, and this is not Europe. This is Turkey. Another very, very calm day on the water. Seems like we either have no wind or like 30 knots. There are our two options. This vista is just stunning and I'm very much looking forward to coming back this way and exploring all these Greek islands that we've just had to sail past without stopping. Because of course, we can't just go there. We have to clear out of Turkey and then clear into Greece. We're not allowed to just go there. You know, sailing never really fails to surprise me. And when I say sailing, I clearly mean motoring because it's not right the wind out here. But you know what? We've seen most of the world sailing, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Mediterranean Sea, South China Sea, yada yada yada. This, I would probably say, is one of the most beautiful places we've been. No? It's just like pinch me moments, non-stop pinch me moments. It is just Turkey. Oh, goddamn beautiful. Yeah, it's stunning. Like the, 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 it's just, I don't know. Just visually, it's just, I don't even think the camera can do justice to this. It is so beautiful. And that's Turkey, and we can't go over there. I mean, look, there must be like 300 meters over there is Turkey. Or we're allowed to be over there. These little Greek islands, we can't go to. But we have to come back this way. And that means we will be checking into those anchorages, and we've spotted them, and they are just stunning. There's some light sea mist. It is just so goddamn beautiful. I've never seen the sea like this. It's just this incredible deep blue. It is just, yeah, ooh, just, yeah. I am, I know that we love, we do love Asia, but compared to the water here is just insanely, insanely beautiful. It's not like the Bahamas, which was like kind of that real turquoise. This is just a deep, beautiful blue. And yeah, back to our mid-morning snack, which is, I'm not entirely sure what this is, it's like a filo pastry with uh, potato and maybe cheese. It's cheese and potato, filo pastry. And then some labne and some sun dried tomato. tomato, like pesto paste topping dip thing. It's okay. good. Lovely. Are you amused? Are you amused? Are you any happier? Are you any happier? It's a line from Derek and Fly. Well, as you can probably see, those afternoon winds never manifested. We're almost at our anchorage, which is just behind me here. So no winds for us. We made it almost. We've got about five miles to go. It's been a beautiful day. It's just been an absolutely stunning day on the water. It really, really has. It has been spectacular. We haven't had much going on. It's just been a quiet day, uh, which is the way we like it. 
We've actually been cleaning the boat um, inside and out because she's well overdue for a thorough scrub, especially on the outside. So we've been trying to kind of chip away at that. And we've discovered about a billion mosquitoes in the boat. I don't know where they came from, but anyway, yeah, slowly but surely eradicating the mozzie infestation and just enjoying being here in the Mediterranean, to be honest. So yeah, we've just seen some absolutely spectacular scenery today and I'm looking forward to getting in. It would have been a long day. I think we would have done about 65-ish miles, maybe a bit more, about 65 miles, I think. Stunning, stunning, stunning coastal cruising here in Turkey. We are just so incredibly lucky. It's been, there's been a few pinch me moments today for sure. In fact, I'm having one right now. I mean, look at this water. So it's 75 miles today. It's been a really nice day, actually. Actually, the, the Australians that we met the other night, they're coming over for drinks this evening. Mm -hmm. And that has prompted us to get the boat absolutely spotless. We've literally just like... To be fair, we went to theirs for sundown the other night and, and their boat was immaculate. Yeah, yeah. It was bloody immaculate. Even like it makes boat show boats look like shabby. Yeah. Uh, so yes. The only mystery that I have, and I still can't work this out, is we, we, burn, we run both engines at the same revs since we set off, and we have 60% fuel in one and 40% in the other. Mm. And I can, yeah, I can only surmise the starboard tank, I didn't fill it properly. Or we haven't been putting it into overdrive. I kind of think that I didn't fill it properly. I saw it at 100%, and the problem about that is I looked on the sea zone at the impedance at which the float so the, the the float registers yeah and there's only it isn't so and what oh, i can't remember that where that's going um, <laughs> but essentially when it says 100 percent, it's not 100 percent. it's there's more yeah to put in but a, we've over for the tanks before we end up with decent so, overbuilt. well but the the starboard one was overfilled that's right important. sorry exactly i'm gonna get used to this the port one he filled and yeah. he gave me the nozzle and uh -huh. I came in and saw that it was a hundred percent hundred percent and I left it I just turned it off okay. I'm like it must be done I did so maybe there's a enough of a discrepancy between one and the other so I think that that's probably the problem I think they're both in overdrive and I know that's because when the boat was on the boat when the boat was on the SV Maria mm -hmm. I literally was moving the props back and forth to make sure that they would go into overdrive because sometimes you can get like a barnacle or something yeah. in there that stops it but look, we've got enough fuel to do tomorrow's run. Yeah, that's right. So that's all we need, really. Yeah. Anyway, where are we? Uh, even I don't know where we are, and I what, took what? us here. But there is, like, seriously, that wh whoever that posh is over there, like, literally, he has his private helicopter just taken off to. Yeah, literally, we 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 yank it up, and uh, Nick's got his binoculars out, looking at this residence. This is our laundry. In here. And uh, we anchored up and we're like, okay, cool, we're set. And then a bloody helicopter just goes, just passes overhead. And like it came from the beach over there. We saw it on the beach. And so of course, being the nosy people that we are, we got our binoculars out and there's like a mosque. There's a playground. God knows what else there is. There's like probably about, I don't know, at least half a dozen massive, they look like mansions, big buildings. Um, it looks like a small town, but I know for a fact that it's a private residence, so. If anyone knows any more than that, maybe I'll do a bit of a Google. I might do some. It's a nosy old. Yeah, I want to know what because I. Well, it's got its own mosque. It's got its own mosque. That's so... one residence. It looks like a town. Yeah. Yeah, we're out now. Yeah. We're out now. It's a bit of a shock. <laughs> Three islands over there. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we are with Craig and Donna. We're having a lovely time. Do you guys on want to be on camera or not? Oh, sure. 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 Okay. Are you sure? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello.
kind of like uh, revisiting like why it's good to cruise boats because you meet amazing people. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, give us a like. Apparently a thumbs up is the same. Teresa to keep telling me this. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you all next week with Teresa. Yes, Bye. I'll be here. <laughs>